my God, this is my love story, but it's really not, you guys. It's a fucking huge red flag. You want a relationship based on truth. You have to listen to your own truth first, which is trusting your intuition, trusting your gut, which is the very, very first feeling you have. I'm Angela Jean and welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about red flags and to stop painting the red flags white. <laughs> what the red flags are to me, it's God's source universe waving a flag saying, warning, warning, do not proceed, do not proceed, stop, pay attention, stop, pay attention. But a lot of us ignore the red flags and we paint the red flags white. So in this video, you guys, I'm going to tell you five red flags, the last one being the hardest one for me to accept, but a very valid one. And I'm sure it happens to a lot of us. So I want you to stay tuned for number five. Okay, so the two reasons why we ignore red flags. Number one, we are afraid they reveal the painful truth. And they usually do. I tell you right now, less relationships would happen if we did not paint the red flags white. Because what happens when you see a major red flag at the beginning of a relationship, if you saw it for what it is and took the warning, you most likely would not continue dating that person. And the second reason is because we don't trust our intuition. We say to ourselves, this can't be, this is the perfect guy. I must be wrong but you're not, <laughs> you know what I mean? So those are the two reasons why we ignore red flags and the universe source God, whatever you believe in is literally giving you a sign and literally saying, here is a very important message. What are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna listen to your voice of intuition and connect further with source God universe or are you going to ignore it and keep digging that hole down, chipping away at your self-esteem, chipping away at your self-worth, bending your boundaries and ending up with partners that vibrate down here? If you want the best relationship for yourself, you have to connect with your intuition and let source guide universe guide you. But the more we ignore red flags, we are ignoring our intuition. Our intuition is the very, very first feeling, you guys. And the minute you go, but that but, is your mind taking over. You are immediately making excuses when you already know the truth. So stop ignoring the red flags. And now I just wanna tap down on five red flags that we all deal with that are very common that we need to stop ignoring if you want the relationship that's healthy, inspiring, and that will last. The very first red flag we ignore is what I just spoke about, not trusting your gut. The minute you're scratching your head in the beginning and you decide to paint that red flag white, you are not trusting your gut because of the fact that we're all looking for this partner to love or happily ever after. So we're like, oh, but that's not that bad because this, this, this. But that red flag, like I said, will end up being another red flag, another red flag, another red flag. And I can speak on that from experience, okay? So don't ignore the red flags. If you want a relationship based on truth, you have to listen to your own truth first, which is trusting your intuition, trusting your gut, which is the very, very first feeling you have. Number two is inconsistency. And to me, this is kind of when people's words don't match their actions. Inconsistency is, let's say you spend a day or two, a, a date or two, like Friday, Saturday, whatever, a couple days a week and you guys have the best time and you're talking about possibly something to do in a few weeks or just future planning a little bit and you get all excited and then you don't hear from the person for five days, nothing. Not that they need to text you every day. We're all very busy and we all should have our own lives. This is not about looking to that person for your happiness, being codependent. It's just, if you don't hear from them at all for five days, that's a little weird. And then they pop up, no mention of what you had planned before and just kind of like, Hey, that's inconsistency. You're like, um, I thought we left off good. I thought we did this, but you're acting like this now. It's like back to square one. So that's a little bit of inconsistency and that happens a lot. That is a red flag. Ghosting is obviously a big red flag. I just did a video on that. I'm doing a follow up. Everybody knows what ghosting is. Obviously, big red flag. <laughs> Number four is boredom. If you are only hanging out with the person because you're bored, you have nothing to do that night and vice versa. And how you can tell is how you guys feel when you're together. When you're with this person, were you excited to go see them? Did you want to get dressed up? Did you actually feel the little butterflies that you're supposed to feel when you're excited to see someone? And when you're sitting there, what kind of experience are you guys having? Are you enjoying it? Is it fun? Is it inspiring? Do you want to see them again? You can tell by the energy. So pay attention to the energy because boredom is a red flag for you and the person sitting across from you. 
Okay, you guys, so number five was the hardest for me to wrap my head around. I was like, oh man, really? It's a red flag, shit. Because I do so much prayer and manifestation. Number five is playing house. If people spend too much time with you too soon, meaning sleeping over, move in, it's a sign that the person just wants to play house. And I was like, oh my God, but I love that. I remember my guy was like sleeping over after the third night. I think he moved in after the first week, told me he loved me after 10 days. And I was like, oh my God, this is my love story. But it's really not, you guys. It's a fucking huge red flag because the person is just looking to play house. They're searching for a feeling or a situation rather than a partner. We are all a little guilty of this because it is fun to have someone sleep over and get up and cook and do all that stuff. But the fact of the matter is if it happens too soon, and I used to fight with my sister about this, she's like, healthy relationships are slower. I'm like, no, love is fast. You just dive in. It's a thousand miles per hour. Yeah, it's a thousand miles per hour, but you oftentimes hit a wall. So believe it or not, this one I still will give a little pushback on and it's not my style and it feels very weird, but I will say it does really allow you time to hang out with the person, go home and process the time you spent together. And when you're not moving so fast, you guys, you really, really can ask yourself the questions. Would this person make me happy in the future? You're really able to sit home and process. And then also that gives you time to build a foundation of a healthy friendship, teaches you how to communicate, teaches you not to be codependent. If you are, it allows you to still deal with if you have any loneliness issues that you don't jump in just to feel the loneliness void. You just always want to make sure you guys, you're not filling voids. And that's why red flags are there. Universe source. God is trying to help you grow is trying to help you build. And I will say that in all of my videos, everything is done for us, not to us. We attract it in. So those are the five things I want to tap down on about painting red flags white. <laughs> Stop painting red flags white. Be sure to download my worksheet in the comments below. It'll help you navigate some of your inner dialogue when things go wrong, give you a different perspective of how to look at things. And I will be doing a workshop soon, probably in the new year because I want to bang out a bunch of these videos. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave your comments down below and I will see you in a few days. Bye.